how do you how did you verify a user story that required social security numbers well yeah this is the one of the good questions um i think uh, uh, one of our the features is the from on the platform is apply for the credit card so um, there are many features i did not work on this feature directly but i have to test this feature because of my other feature is included um so i was actually the uh, i think the 30% effort I put it because I was curious on this um, on this feature itself. And it is uh, simply with the buyer portal features where the buyer is eligible to apply uh, for the credit card so that they can uh, buy the product uh, from our uh, platform. So when I say the buyer, it means our the end clients, the, our B2B clients, they provide this feature to their the, the clients. So when a buyer, uh, they apply, so we have the vendors. So um, those vendors, uh, they provide the, the interface of the, of course, the APIs, the backend APIs. Uh, some vendors, they provide the XML-based, the, the payload, and some vendors, they provide the JSON-based payload. Uh, the both um, can be uh, I tested using the, using the Postman, one is the SOAP UI, and one is our internal testing tool. So basically, in this case, are the same approach, we reach out to the Credco for the US client, Credco experience and the Credit Star. These are the three organizations. They provide the, uh, the, the consumer, uh, the credit report and the credit history uh, across the nation in the US. It means it include the banking, mortgage, housing, anything. Anybody needs the, the customer, the, the, the financial data, they actually pull the data from the, these three uh, organizations. So our system is actually integrated with each of this. The development is depth, uh, the testing is test, is staging is staging, and production is production. So they provide us the same way like a, the credit card and the, the, the address validation, they provide us the data, the same way, the specific, the borrower name, specific the address, in this case, specific the SSL. So the goal is the same. And that if the some borrower, they have a 550 to the 600, the credit score, some borrower has a 600, 650, and until the, the 850. So the bait on the test scenario, actually I pick up the specific borrower and the test on our interface, verify on our backend, verify on our database. At the same time, they also give us the access permission of their development test and the production environment where we can go to their web portal and we can actually verify that what we have actually sent from the, our portal and if and their portal has changed the event trigger. It means if we say this borrower is rejected because of the credit score is low, that's the expectation. And that's the reason credit card is not generated. So we are expecting the same result on their portal. Because this is the vendor system, we, we, we do not have the access permission of the database, but from their portal, we can verify the same trigger as for the validation.